game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Operating from the gun. Barkley, the throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. That catch good for only a couple. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On fourth down, Barkley got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Trying to run it in, DeMarco. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. On second and goal, Barkley. And he's got it. It knocks for a Bill's touchdown. Dawson Knox there to make the grab. And the Bills get a bit closer. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run once more with Edwards. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. 
And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. I know we're the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. And we just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Griffin going to keep it himself. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to put... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. What? Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs? Yeah, huh? preserve that for it. That's, a, that's an ancient uh, relic, faking it. You, you, I can understand you, you want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, in my, her attic, the stuff she used to preserve. My grandmother did the same. It smells terrible. <laughs> And Jones has it over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down from the gun. Barkley. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as... And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. But yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Hauschka adds the extra point, so time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So the final seconds tick.